Okay, folks, it took me a while because basically what I did is I did some of my schooling, computed it, and now our friendly mainframe has it, okay? And then now I go ahead and show it's there. And basically, also I found particulars and basically computed, communicated with authors of computation and now we have so basically when I'm showing you because basically I'm making a video because what we went in here and we were cross phasing again okay and basically this comes down to uh, thermal imaging and so forth as we will get through a little bit more explanation here of your electron volts and that's how your uh, therm thermal imaging thermometer if anybody is in the industry and they go, wow, look at the new toy we got, we push a button and point the camera at it and we get a temperature, okay? Thermodynamic temperature and basically we'd be here for a long time and uh, education's not free. I educate you for so much and if pretty soon Bino's energy is probably going to, uh, yeah, my energy and electrical information is probably going to start costing some people some money. So anyway, it's there because basically a third of this I computed in and it's always been there as anybody says a physicist okay so anyway I'm gonna give you as you can re go through this and it'll explain to you the electrical energy here and then we are cross phasing okay and our various ranges from 1060 to 1900 kev okay and yes, it ends up giving you protons readings and then you have a temperature reading, okay? But we are cross phasing and that's not good. Now, more than likely if I get enough time in this video, since you can see the graph action, see how this is broke up again? This is all broken up and dotted. We have probably have a mass of CME or some kind of action again by either Rigel Cantaris A or whatever else in the supergiants is either bumping or getting too close and they could be millions of miles away and apart from each other but it's affecting the electrical coronal hemispheres and whatever because we have different we have earth has because of our green growth activity that we have on earth and other elements that other uh, planets don't have Okay, and then we have seen the protectionism, and they've been studying it for years of sun grazing comets. Well, there's suns, there's comets that hit the sun also, and then also the idea that we have proven wrong this inner flare of a camera is a bunch of BS because we've seen what planets do. So let me quit blabbing, but basically, because basically all this shows is that we have disturbance up there, so more than likely we have some massive CME. So let's scoot up this. Well, we love this site, and as you can see, we're still getting the marble rolling on each other action there, and so forth, and you get like a second second signature. This looks fresher, doesn't it, folks? It looks like the marble that rolled over whenever. Yep. So that could be totally me proven wrong eventually also, but we also know that we keep on getting these flare-ups and massive uh, flares on the sun that they haven't seen in ages in very high activity when we were supposed to be in a lull and now all of a sudden they turn 360 degrees oh we knew it was going to be this is a high point yeah they don't know diddly shit unless it happens it's just like you don't know the temperature outside unless you go out and check it okay and they keep an eye on the sun every day with a laser they can find it in between all the other bright stars in the supergiant's main sequence where there is a hundred stars that well with the sun being there 101 and there are suns there four to 78 times bigger than our sun that we know of that we usually follow okay now we are moving away from the sun again right now because uh this normally gives me a distance of the sun do i still have it up yeah so we are moving a little ways away we are basically something like about 0.48 million miles because the the nearest distance we ever have end up we probably maybe made it we don't know because basically they started messing with the data on it but we are gonna and you are starting to see you'll probably see some cold snaps in like Siberia uh, Alaska up north Canada anywhere north or anywhere where it's cold in a high altitude you're probably gonna see some cold weather snaps because we are moving away from the Sun quite fast as we are rotating about 6,000 miles faster than we normally do 
Okay. So, anyway, it's good to know that we're moving a little bit away from the sun. Let's hope we don't move hell away and then get hell cold everywhere. Now, we were talking about the darkness. So, remember, from behind right now, there is a dark, very dark, dark portion by the remnant and everything like that. So, are we getting close to somewhat of one of the big bangs or one of the, or the big bang? Because the idea that something has decided to come and darken up a lot of stuff up there by the sun, by the remnant. And as you can see, we know, anybody that's been watching the sun for a long time, that that's a large remnant that's there, okay? It would be almost like what you would comparably call the moon to Earth, okay? But the sun is a still a live star, and so we have this darkness showing up on the behind shot there. Quite a lot more visible than normal because you can even see it on the behind shot. I mean the head shot. Sorry, folks. Okay, but I was saying behind earlier, correct? Because that was behind. Now you're looking at the head shot, okay? So that dark area is getting more pronounced, okay? That you can see it from all those massive millions and almost probably maybe it might even be billions of miles between the two cameras <coughs> on uh, ahead and behind because there's two gig uh, two pretty lar large satellites out there with a lot of cameras and instruments, measurement, all kinds of stuff. And also, yes, sound. Okay, and then let's get back to going down here and looking at, okay, now I ended up screwing up. But anyway, I think that that would, I'm not even going to guess right now, but I think that still possibly should be Venus, but I haven't even had time to, to worry about what's what today. But uh, let's go in and look at that because basically that should be the same object. And then that's hella bright. So it's not really going to matter. I'm going to zoom into a thousand and all you're going to see is the dots. Okay. You might get a little bit more idea of a formation on it. And we also know of that big uh, bone, which idea that anything up here is not a satellite, ladies and gentlemen. The idea that the sun is massive and the sun, the earth alone would be an eighth of the size of any one of these pixels you see. Okay. We are very, very tiny. Earth is. Okay. Yeah, so anybody that's into industrial maintenance will know what I'm talking about, about a thermal imaging gun, temperature gauge. Uh, yes, it's an electronic gauge that reads temperature, okay, Re reads electrical energy. Uh, okay, now I'm on the wrong, hang on, it's on the wrong page. Just leave it there and not worry about editing it out so you can show that I'm real and human. Okay, so energy, electrical energy, ladies and gentlemen, okay, and then it gives us our temperature. And that's what I'm basically I was telling you about Pictolite before. There's also technology that's in those, and anybody who's an industrial electrician knows Pictolite. Okay, uh, it's faster than the speed of light can find uh, discrepancies to see if something is. We you put a photo in what should be an ideal within certain parameters, and uh, Pictolite at faster than light speed will throw out a product that would have a defect okay so that's pure and short simple and sweet so anyway this stuff all exists so let's go see what we can see on the latest images and then uh, basically you can kinda see why the basically their data is even better than mine ladies and gentlemen because there was something about practicing drills for the New Madrid and stuff like that well in the New Madrid area even though it might not exactly be the New Madrid area we have a 2.5 and a 3.1 just now happened here recently let's give you a time on that so Oklahoma got a 3.1, and 1629 was the time on it, and basically I just hit refresh. So 16, 17, and you look at the 19, I don't know if it shows up on the screen or not, but three hours ago, three hours and ten minutes, something odd ago. Okay, so basically that must have happened around something like something a.m. 10, 12, yeah, 10, 29 or something like that a.m. Central Standard Time or something. So Oklahoma, if you felt something, you felt it. Okay. Uh, basically, this is the first I've looked at anything for a while. I knew it was going to be a little bit calm. Uh, this here probably was a lot to do with the, the speedy item that I told everybody about for a long time and it was going to be moving, coming in and moving it away. And then you've seen pretty much pictures of a lot of stuff that we've probably seen down at Texas and so forth and so on. We've had something pressed down on our atmosphere pretty big when uh, one of the uh, known close items to come by that basically uh, very hush-hushed 
So they knew it was going to be very, very close, and it pushed our atmosphere bubble in pretty damn good when it came by. Okay, and it more than likely was a triangulation, more than one object that came back close to the moon and stuff like that. And you can buy there's so many damn names of the objects, and then NASA will turn around and change it anyway. So most all the pickup of, and we I know it was a seven point something. I don't know if it's going to show on this data here, but we had a set. There was a 7.1 of an Anadu, and I would say that, that if you coordinate a lot of the spiking of that, it being at 7.1 and stuff like that, that was probably a finish up, either an approach to the moon or leaving the moon, because basically that object came with close to us and then was close to the moon. Uh, and to go back to the videos, and let me see if I can get a name. And with this recently, and this is where the slider's sitting at, ladies and gentlemen, and then I'll show you what I can do and move it a little bit. But the idea, this is what I'm going to go to real quick, and we'll see Brazil's graphs. And we just recently had that one in Oklahoma, and we've had some other four-point whatever down and by close around the P Panama Canal and so forth and so on. South America. Okay, so... Uh, Let's move the slider real fast. But anyway, basically, this is recent, so you understand that where that is recent and close, okay? But let's go, and I'll show you why the idea that Brazil, that you were seeing when we first showed up, you'll see everything along South America, Brazil and so forth here, it's still got that action there. And then let me go to the graphs real fast, and you will see, we will look at, and you'll see the remnants of that still shaking a lot everywhere. Either that or the graphs might actually even be jammed up, okay? Let me move that in a little bit closer so you understand what I'm talking about, and this is what I'm talking about. Now, there might even kind of be jammed every once in a while. they got to be reset and so forth and so on because the idea that they get such a big quake. Okay, so anyway, and then so we know that we have evidence of taking so many ticks off of certain quakes and the idea of the footprints, and because you can count them by the layers, of so usually a footprint of a four uh, magnitude and so forth. A ring is one magnitude and you move the rings on and it goes even more but sometimes when you see a gigantic footprint like if I open this map up and we see the 7.1 or something that's over here somewhere which should show up on the map that I think it's this here massive one there or something like that but anyway it's somewhere if you open up the map all the way oh there it is there's the 7.1 or whatever okay so the idea that when you see it go out on the band and as far as it goes out and so forth and so on, we know that the idea that that maybe possibly might have been a lot larger than 7.1. And it was a, a quake that was 7.5 or something earlier this month or earlier or later last month during January that was 7.5 or something. And then they reported a 7.3. Well, there was a 7.5 before the 7.3 quake. Okay, So there is a worldwide hush up, keep it calm down, and don't make it look like that big of volcanoes. I mean, uh, yeah, volcanoes and earthquakes. Okay, so it's all electrical energy from radioactive light from stars in space, and you can even watch the ones over in Japan, and you can see the sun and the supergiants getting it on, and the supergiants are tons of stars that rotate faster than the sun that are in space, ladies and gentlemen. They're millions of miles apart from each other and so forth and so on, but the radio nuclei down here on Earth that was released from Fuka Fudge up and other human mistakes over the last 100, 200 years, then everything gets magnified even more. So anything recent, the only way that that would be Venus on ahead would be the idea that if Venus is a, is low on the Sun, which it could possibly be. I'm not worried about that right now, but we're going to only see Mercury and Venus and mostly Mercury on A and on B we could probably see both. So those are our two planets. So more than likely, this is Mercury here on the A head shot, and there's some pretty good CMEs. I was trying to see what date that they came out. There's a big one on the 4th, and there'll be more here in a second, because we're going to move from the 5th to, like, the 7th or something. I have to blow it up big time so you can see it. There's another nice, I mean, there's a huge CME there, too, folks. So, and then, as you can see, th here's some more masses. So, we got CME action. So, let me see what I can get on red film. And of course, here's a nice black and white. We love the Navy shots. I want to throw that in. Okay, so we got massive action there. CME everywhere. Seems like Mercury looks very large. Camera close somewhat in a sense, and the idea that the sun's flaring it up big time, so the Mercury looks very large there, and Venus looks very small here on behind. Somewhere there, more than likely that. The sun's being a lot more than just the sun, folks. Mercury might need a fire truck again. 
Giant Sun, flying like crazy.